when you look at our entire 20 year history, we've really gone from workstations to servers to workflow automation and templates. So to us, artificial intelligence is really just a natural extension of what we've always done. It's not about the hype cycle of AI. It is really about the practical application of imaging insights in healthcare today. And since 80% of patient encounters in telemedicine include imaging, you can imagine the impact we can have by just doing a better job with how we handle and process and actually consume the results from images. If you think about what physicians really need when it comes to imaging, they need actionable insights from those images. And of course, our long history has been in building these advanced tools. The problem has been that putting those insights into the everyday clinical workflow, you have the scanner that's doing an acquisition, but that acquisition could be improved with artificial intelligence. But these very interactive new kinds of insights for medical diagnoses, they're not always supported by the PACs. And so that was a big opportunity that we needed uh, technology for and that, that we've built. Um, then you look at the reporting side. What the downstream physicians get is this very simple report that just has text information about what did what was the final, final diagnosis? But the future value of all of those insights and all the great things we pulled out of the images are very often left behind. They're either minor findings, secondary findings in the report, or they're not stored anywhere. So we have to do a much better job of how we work with advanced tools in the everyday radiology interpretation workflow. And that's really created this big opportunity. So what we've really created is a new genre. The new genre is AI-driven visualization or AI visualization. And our ability to take new technologies and put them into the workflow, whether they're ours or someone else, and create this end-to-end -end workflow is, is really remarkable. I think one of the main reasons that Terra Recon became a pioneer and now is enjoying this fantastic journey in artificial intelligence is because of our domain expertise. A lot of companies who understand computer vision don't understand the clinical requirements, the clinical use cases, and haven't had a history of extracting that very important information from images. And I think we've made a lot of investments along the way in terms of engineering and in product development and now even in the processes with which we develop. And the really good thing as well is we have five different teams across the globe where each of them are really specialized in different area, where some of them are really focused on the interoperability of the connection between the packs, the reporting, and the third party algorithm, some other one on the viewing piece, and also some specific team really focus on deep clinical uh, image analysis, computer vision, and AI-based algorithms. At the same time, we're doing really cutting edge work. How can you take all of these products from different companies and all these different types of image processing algorithms and make them work in one place and across that whole spectrum of value points from the scanner to the reporting solution to the downstream physician? And so I think the point you make about interoperability is is really an important one. So all of these different teams work together to create an end-to-end -end workflow. That's really the challenge that no one were able to fix earlier. And we're putting all of these pieces together, we create really a best of breed solution where we can build our own algorithm, we can pull some algorithm from other company, and we deliver this end-to-end -end AI to the market and to the clinician for better patient outcome. The care that our parents will get, or that we get, or if we need to be a part of a living liver donor process, or if we have coronary heart disease, or if we're being triaged because we fell or we had a stroke, particularly where our R&D office is here, there's nearly 100% chance that where you go, they will use our software on ourselves. Uh, as individuals, which is really exciting. But as we perfect these technologies, when you look at how products can impact humanity, um, 
There's no better potential than to detect disease earlier. Um, I mean, the best way to avoid cost and save lives is to prevent disease, not to treat it. And that's going to require that we be able to apply this kind of image science on many more patients. And I think that means automation. Definitely mean automation and also bringing this automation to, to the end of the radiologist because there is a lot of research going on, but that's on the research computer. One of the big things that we are trying to achieve, and, and, and we did already mention that multiple times, is really the fact that we are bringing this excellent research into a clinical world. So that's not only keeping that in a box, in a research level, it's really bridging the gap between the clinical world and the research in a way that we can speed up the development and we can uh, way faster impact the patient outcome even with a research world that we can do all across the world. And so there is a lot of opportunity. Uh, the market is really exciting and we are really changing the way we are doing healthcare. So think about artificial intelligence and automation in healthcare today and what that means to the power and potential and impact of care, quality of care, speed of care, cost of care. All of it has to do with the insights that you can derive from images and then how you can deliver those in an absolutely effortless way to the physician. And that is our core. Most people will say images are just like data and healthcare has lots of data. The difference is that images are pixel data. It would be like looking at a photo and trying to understand the context of that photo and how that image in the photo is like other photos. And our human minds process that very quickly. But if you thought of the millions of different scenarios and how much information is in a picture that we can quickly digest. Every one of those is essentially a landmark. I think that images are uh, undervalued, that there's more information in images than we're utilizing today. And artificial intelligence is not only to be used to help physicians interact and to display and to connect images with information, but believe it or not, we can look within the images, we can see unseen things, and with a platform approach, we can connect that to patient outcomes and actually practice healthcare and medicine smarter and empower the physicians to be faster simultaneously. So let's look at what you can build out of a platform like this. And when you have domain expertise in image processing, like our company has, and you put them together in a dashboard view and you say, what are some of the near-term use cases that you could build out of a solution like this? In oncology, you're almost always measuring something that's either shrinking or growing. You wanna do that over multiple time points. So think about the power again with these dashboard views that we can create if it automatically goes and looks at the historical information of the patient, automatically measures the images of that patient and gives you more information about whether it's growing or shrinking, patient care will obviously be impacted. Physicians will be better empowered, but it doesn't take more time. It doesn't take training. They already know what to do with this information. So our job is to go into the historical files and look prospectively at best practices, put those together in a dashboard and deliver it in a completely seamless way in the systems they already use. So imagine that you take this same platform that is contributing remarkable new workflows in healthcare, and on the back end, it doesn't know it's in healthcare. It's receiving images and information that are kicking off image processing that's generating images and information. So you end up with a, a platform that is both open and interoperable, but it also can function in a closed loop. Now, when we built this platform from the ground up, we did it with an entirely fresh approach. This platform is so powerful and so open and so unique that unlike systems that are typical in radiology imaging, for example, it can, it can operate on TIFFs, it can operate on PDF files, it can operate on music files. Any type of MIME type, any type of file type can be an input or an output on this platform. 
And it doesn't just have to run on images, it can run on information also. So if you looked at it like a nerve center that's able to instantiate AI algorithms and then create the insights that are used by others and run in a closed loop, you could apply this to all kinds of different use cases, whether that be in commercial applications or military applications. Really, the sky is the limit in what's possible with this platform.